pictures about the motherfucker up. Don't worry about it. Hold on, we ain't doing no pictures yet. We got the bit this on film. You gotta run this. We gotta run. No, you gotta take the picture. No, let's 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 we're gonna do it. We're gonna take a picture, but you gotta we're gonna we're gonna see the next. Come on, let's go scan these up. No, I don't see what it's like. Hey, I got me some more these, give me some more these, uh, Migos or Rap Snacks. I want, I want, I want Rap Snacks. Migos, son, in it, Migos. Come on, Rap Snacks, hold on. Lay it back, ho. What's that? What are these? What the fuck is this, man? Give me the Rap Snacks, the Migos one. You see me? I've been doing this shit a long time. So I do what I want, when I want it, how I want it. See, see, I, I put my little message up early, and I look what the Migos sent me. Rap snacks like a motherfucker. All right, I've been Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. What are you posting here, Telefero? What I'm showing you guys is the power in our culture, in hip-hop, in music. And it's even, it's even going past the music into entrepreneurship as you see black youngster as you see 50 cent they're promoting this this product so now you got a company who probably didn't put up as much money as obviously other much more um elevated branded food companies or who make chips you're seeing this brand Take off because of the power that the Migos, how hot Quavo is right now musically, how hot Offset is becoming, bad and bougie, number one in you know country a couple weeks ago. Now you're seeing the impact that the music is having on food. So when people say hip hop is pop culture now, they're not lying. This is gonna become a trend. It doesn't have to be rappers tied to alcohol. You got the Migos on top of a chip bag. And they go say with a dab of red, uh, uh, it gets viral on Twitter. And just like that, the rap snacks, ladies and gentlemen, maybe one of the most popping chips right now. I'll go get the numbers if y'all want to see them. We'll figure it out. I want to give it a week or so. The Migos have made this chip. And also, shout out to Fetty Wap, I believe, is on one. I believe Lil Romeo's on one. I believe I think Boosie got one, too, if I'm not mistaken. I know, I know for a fact Fetty Wap and Romeo have one. Now you're talking about chips. That are just showing the power that we have in our culture. So when y'all branding yourselves, I mean, I'm in the process of doing a lot of branding myself. I'm looking at the bigger picture here. No, you think just he a hip hop based block? No, 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 no. You missing it. Our culture is the culture now. You know what you're doing when you're getting yourself involved in these things and you make yourself some right moves? It ain't no telling where you can go. I know there's a lot of people who ask me for advice about going out to the dreams. These be the blogs y'all need to be picking up on. This one I'm giving you the jewels, the gems. This is the life that I'm living. That's very important what you watch. Watch that closely what the Migos do with these chips. In six months, we'll, you know, we'll look back and be like, damn. Migos more popping than Lay's right now? Their sales in relation to the cost put in the product, um... And, and the demand of the product, we can really get into some stuff. I took a couple entrepreneur, uh, I took a business course or two in undergrad. We can really get into some stuff like the Migos, what they're doing. Couple couple months down the line, maybe six months down the line. Look at look at who's profiting more between rap snacks and Lay's. You tell me. I ain't talking about who's gonna make the most money from the standpoint of Lay's is bigger and it's worldwide. I'm talking about who's making more profit, meaning who's making the product and and, and seeing more of that come back in, in correlation to each other, right? So we talking here. I'm gonna try me a bag of these rap snacks when I get my hands on one. I'll be in Atlanta in two days, so I'll get me some when I'm down in Atlanta. How about I do a vlog on it when I taste the chip and we'll see what, what we what we're talking about. I got a big vlog coming you guys' way. I'll be in Atlanta and Charlotte in the next couple of days. So we'll do a big C.A.A. vlog. I think I'm booked out in Charlotte for a couple events. Definitely one. So we'll be we'll be talking to you guys soon about these damn rap snacks. Alright, after Telefair, Mr. Telefair TV. Thank you for the time, love, support. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking 
at it's mistillerfeld.com.